sir yes sir man we live and we back man welcome welcome back to the golden goose dfs show i am your host channel blakely aka goose man here today bringing you another edition of my starting five for draft kings and fan duel all right but before we get into it hit that subscribe button for me if you're new to the channel definitely everybody hit that like button we got the little lineup review man going over my best lineups on the slate yesterday just seeing what we did right what we did wrong things of that nature let's get into it all right uh best lineup yesterday this was uh i think the three max dollar three max contest uh 263 uh okay Needed a, needed a little more from Braun, man. I thought Braun would have a much bigger night at 31% on. We was correct on Miles Turner. If you saw the video yesterday, I told you I was uh, Miles Turner was a lock button for me. We got him at 1% by far our best play yesterday. The play that hurt me, though, man, Bo Bo, down here 18%. It was it was one of them slates last night. I told you guys in the video. It was news coming every you know every uh every thirty minutes, close to every hour. It was just news about starting lineups, guys in and out, this and that. And Bobo was one of those last minute guys. Saw him in that starting lineup for the Magic. Thought he could be a potential you know bomb to the slate at forty nine hundred, getting to start big minutes. A rangy guy like that could block shots, double double potential at forty nine hundred. I thought he could, he could be a steal. Got him eighteen percent. He was just okay. Twenty four uh fantasy points right here in this spot. Uh, got some Scotty Barnes up here in this Philly Toronto game. Got him at fifteen percent ownership. That was okay in this contest. He let me down in this spot. Went Keon Johnson in this particular one. Just to get just to get away from some of that sharp chalk, got him at four percent on. He gave me fifteen fantasy points. Just and but sharp didn't crush, so it helped out. Uh, Tobias Harris, just another one of those uh, late swap guys. I, once we got that MB news, I felt like this could be a Tobias Harris spot. I thought he finally could have a big game here, but Max is clearly the number two guy behind Harden whenever MB is out. Since Harris just didn't do anything, so let me down here. He didn't kill me at 5900, but 28 fantasy points definitely was a it was a high scoring one yesterday. So. And then uh, last fouling out, uh, Desumu right here got just got unlucky right here. He got hurt, didn't come back in to like halfway through the fourth or something like that. Only ended up playing like 20 minutes and gave me 17 fantasy points. Man, just got unlucky. Was trying to get another leverage low on guy right here. He had been solid the past couple of games, but you know that was DraftKings. Just look at FanDuel. Fan duel. This was actually the my best line was actually the hundred K, the the fifteen dollar big joint, the hundred K put up two ninety six. Uh Trey Young at the top <clears throat> got him at fourteen percent on. Jalen Green just wanted to get pieces of that Houston Portland game as they had the value and was one of the higher total games on the slate. Yeah, I probably got a little too cute right here with R.J. Barrett. Just hoping he come around. Like, I don't know what's going on with R.J. Barrett. I don't know if it's just Brunson just taking over everything. He not getting that that much ball handling opportunities. But he was dropping 50, 40s and 50s for you last year. He can't, he can't, he can't buy a 30-point fantasy game this year. But, um, you know, we'll, we'll try to sneak him in another spot here there and see what he come out with. Got Josh Hart as well. Uh, Bancaro just had him everywhere for, Fonz Wagner, I was high on him like most people. He he was a dud in this spot. Uh, Jabari Smith just trying to get a run back to the uh, heart in that Portland game. Miles Turner once again, and then Bobo got me at the bottom. All right? That's the review there, man. Let's get to today's slate, all right? Let's jump right into it, man. I was going to have the video out a little earlier, but when I was putting the finishing touches on it, we got that Miles Turner news, so I had to jump back in here and remix it. So here we are, man. At the top, you got your free score tonight, Tyus Jones. Just play him. Single entry, three max, probably 20 max, two, man. You Just play Tyus Jones. That's your free score tonight, like... You, 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 everybody's gonna be on him. You're not getting nothing. Everybody's gonna be on him, and they should. But he could absolutely crush, especially this matchup. 4,700, potentially no job Moran out there, man. Just get Tyus Jones. All right, I'm, only way he's not a lock button is John comes some miraculously plays or something. But get you some Tyus Jones, all right. At the shooting guard, stay in that same game. It's 
it's gonna be hard to get away from Desmond Bain, man. Ja Morant frees up so much uses and so many shots. And Desmond Bain is a guy that can go on an offensive heater, man. He can really put up a big night scoring in this spot when they're gonna need him to to beat this Jazz team. This Jazz is a scrappy team, man. They fight, they hang in games. They're gonna need scoring by Bain. You can just pretty much lock him in there for me too, man. It's gonna be hard to get away from Bain. But at the small four, I want to stay in that game and come back to the, uh, the other side of this game. Uh, uh, the Utah Jazz side is not getting a lot of ownership. If you're going to be playing one or two of these Grizzlies, especially three Grizzlies in your line, if you're playing three Grizzlies in your line, I think you got to have somebody back from the Jazz. Just because you, if all three of them hit their ceiling, man, you're going to need a close, hard-fought game, and that means somebody from the Jazz is having a good one, too. So if you got three Grizzlies in your lineup, I am I suggest probably get you a Jazz. You don't have to. That's just me. That's just how I look at it. But still, got Lauren Markin at the small forward, man, 6,900. Just hope he can get back on track. This is a guy who has 50-point ceiling that you're getting at 6,900 in a nice matchup. He he is the primary scorer for this uh, Jazz team. Him and Clarkson are the guys, so. I don't mind going back to Mark. I hope he come in at low ownership because he burned people the last time out. Now, power forward in your center, you're going to see it right here, man. I'm going to tell you right now. This is where you want to be for your bigs. Your forwards and your centers, This I like all of them. Jalen Smith, Isaiah Jackson, Claxton, anybody that's going to play, they are all the same guys, man. With, with, with Miles Turner being out, that is really going to pick this pace of this game up a little bit. As you can see, the total went up already to 240. The, they, all these guys are the same type of guys. Just rangy, quick, athletic, get up and down, run bigs. You know, not no hunkering, defensive, you know, juggernauts down there. They're going to get up and down it's gonna be a lot of shots a lot of rebounds i like getting to all three of them guys from this spot man give me Jalen smith at the power forward and nick claxton at the sun i love nick claxton at this price he has he has definitely a double double upside with a little block potential as well man i like nick claxton there you have it my starting five for DraftKings: king ty jones desmond bang laurie market and Jalen smith and nicholas claxton let's go look at fan duel all right Coming in at FanDuel, stand at the top, does not change. It Tyus Jones is your free square. Does not matter the site. All right, DraftKings or FanDuel, he is your free square. Put him in there and worry about the rest of your lineup and getting different. Trust me on this one. Especially in single entries and three max cash games, I'm for definitely. But uh, shooting guard Desmond Bain, man, and all the reasons I just stated. Now, the small four, I'm going to look at Zach Levine here. Provided he's a go, it's still a lot of injury news we waiting on. Now, nothing is set in stone right now except for Ty Jones and Desmond Bain more than likely. But you still waiting on MB news. If Levine plays and goes, I'm going I'm to assume he's good for 30-plus minutes, 30 to 35 minutes. That's what he's been playing when he's played this season. I don't see why that would change, especially coming off a of rest night. Uh, well, an extra night of rest from not playing the last night. Give me Zach Levine, 7,300, man. I would definitely take a chance on him right here in this spot. He's definitely a guy who has 50-point upside. It's going it's to have to be more from the scoring aspect. He's going to have to get hot from the field. But uh, I like going to Zach Levine. I like the price tag on FanDuel. Coming at power forward, give me Isaiah Jackson, 4,600. I just want all the guys who, all the bigs, they all the same. Whoever's playing, whoever's starting, whoever's getting the most time, that's who I want in this game. So you already know. Oh, man, went too far. You already know. Come here the sun. I'm staying with Nick Clash, 6,300. There you have it, man. The starting five for FanDuel, Nick Clash and Isaiah Jackson. Zach Levine, Desmond Bain, and Tyus Jones, man. Get you some exposure to these guys. Get them in your player pool. You know they're going to be in mind, all right? That's going to do it for us here today, man. Y'all already know the motto. Chances make champions. Let's get it.